video. Cool. This one is awesome. I love this. This is the best thing I've seen in a long time. This is the Hummer Bar at Abolski Farms. Thank you, Lori, for sending this in. This is awesome. I got to tell you. Look, it's been just so crazy. It's so to see one hummingbird. It's I know. so crazy to see that many in, in one place, you know? It's so neat. I've never even seen a hummingbird feeder like that, but I want one. <laughs> Look at them go crazy over that. Thank you, Lori, for sending this in. We'll post that on Facebook so you guys can share, but that's pretty neat, right? Let's go ahead and get started with a look at the forecast. Off the radar, showing a little bit of cloud cover here and there. Those showers that we had out over Hidalgo County, they're trying to hold together, not very heavy by any means. We're also keeping an eye on you down there across Lee County, Southern Lee County, looking at a few pockets of light rain, but not a whole lot out there either. Durango, you look good. Plenty of blue sky above you. Sunshine peeking through and temperature about 55 degrees. 62 in Farmington right now. 55 Santa Fe, Albuquerque at 66. You'll find more of those 60s and even a couple of 70s down there across southern New Mexico. So by the numbers this morning, pretty mild. By noontime, we'll be in the mid 80s. Later today, topping out at 91. So it is going to be another warm afternoon, although cooler than what we had last week. And an isolated storm is possible here in the metro. I'll tell you, mountain areas. Have a much better chance of squeezing out those spotty showers and thunderstorms today out across northern New Mexico, stretching down towards the Gila Mountains as well. A couple of isolated storms still possible further off to the east, but we're not expecting as many storms today compared to what we had over the weekend. Things do start to ramp back up though as we get into Tuesday and more so on Wednesday. You'll notice more of the showers lining the northern state line. We've got a disturbance to our south that will help get southern New Mexico in on some of those spotty showers and storms. So the good news is our temperatures will pretty much stay in check near seasonal hours. Average for this time of year, but the rain chances look good this week. Winds out of the east about 10 to 20 miles per hour. You'll notice them more so as we pass the noon hour today. And of course, as these storms develop too, those will likely kick out some winds in and around where those storms develop. But here's that small disturbance I'm talking about. As we transition into tomorrow, Four Corners area will be favored, stretching out over the northern mountains here. And we're starting to get more of that monsoonal flow set up as we get towards midweek and more so Thursday into Friday. So the storm chances continue, especially for those of you in and around the higher terrain off to the west. You look to be favored this week. We'll go spot storms here in the metro both Tuesday, Wednesday before we bump that up to scattered Thursday, Friday. Severe threat low for today across the entire state. Most of those stronger storms will fire out across northeastern Colorado, parts of Kansas and Nebraska, too. That will pretty much be the same area and around that area as we get into tomorrow, a little bit further up to the north in Nebraska and parts of South Dakota. But you can see it's getting farther away from us here in New Mexico. So the good news is not a whole lot of severe storms expected, just some rain. A little bit of gusty winds and lightning, but we'll take the rain and the cooler temps for sure. Southern Colorado looking at a partly cloudy sky with temps in the upper 80s in Pagosa Springs, 90s in Cortez and Durango. Rain chances only looking better as we head further into the work week. Northwest mostly sunny with a few spot storms today and high temps in the upper 80s to mid 90s. Cooler temperatures fill in towards midweek. Southwest spotty to scattered storms and high temps in the mid 80s in Kamado. The rest of us in the upper 80s to low 90s. Southeastern Plains, spotty to scattered storms a possibility today, especially over the Sacramento's, but you'll notice those temperatures today only getting warmer as we transition towards the later half of the work week. We'll take you into the northeastern plains where we have a mix of sun and clouds. A few spot storms rolling off the higher terrain possible. High temps widespread 80s for most areas, a little cooler in Mora at 78. Northern Mountains, some spotty storms expected to fire over the high country. 71 in Red River, Española 88. Santa Fe in the low 80s today through the weekend. East Mountains, partly cloudy with a spot storm chance today. Rain chances look a lot better Wednesday through the start of the weekend. And the metro area looking at a mix of sun and clouds with an isolated storm possible today, although our rain chances too look better as we get into the later part of this week, Thursday and Friday especially. High temps really not doing a whole lot. Upper 80s to low 90s for as far as we can see, which is around normal for this time of year. I'll upload that forecast to the weather app so you can take a second look. The weather app also has the radar in case you want to track those storms later this afternoon. Okay.